talking about not being afraid there's a duo that i discovered a few months ago and i was amazed by the type of music they do in this environment we've not yet understood we've not yet appreciated enough what house music is but this team of siblings chin jong and chin jong do house i don't want to tell you more about it let's find out how they create a bit and well the surprise comes in when we go all the way into the night and have some fun Hi, I'm Chinjong. And I'm Chinjong too. And together we're Chinjong. I'm Chinjong. Alright, we chose the name Chinjong and Chinjong because we're siblings, so we share the same last name, obviously. And we wanted to keep it in the family, you know, do something that will leave a legacy, sort of. And we chose house music because we had both been, both been rapping for decades, for a decade. And it wasn't really um, satisfying, so we decided to do something else to stand out. And I've been producing for years, I've been DJing for years with virtual DJ, just virtual DJ. So we decided to just come together with a new brand of music that we're falling in love with, which was house music. But it's the best experience. I've been in many groups before, many, many groups. But working with somebody that um, you grew up with is the best experience because you already know each other. And we fell in love with house music at the same time, listening to the same kind of music. So our music, our musicality is almost the same. Whatever I do, I know she will like. Whatever idea she has, she knows that I will like, or I'll just maybe have a uh, slight change to it. So it's been great. I think he's the backbone of the group because he does most of the work. So. My ideas, sometimes I keep them in my head because I get the feeling that sometimes they come off, they come off as not so bright. So it's not really easy, but he's the best person that I've ever worked with. Chinyong and Chinyong is not just Chinyong and Chinyong anymore. We have a team now and we're under a new label, Emedia. And Emedia's label itself has its own plans. So our plans are bigger than just um, making house music and, and partying and, and playing at parties. We have a lot of EPs, a lot of albums, a lot of different genres that we want to um, release. Um, progressive house, we have to release albums on Progressive House, we have to release Afro House albums, we have to release Afro Pop albums, why not? Dubstep. Dubstep. There are just too many plans, too, too many plans. But our vision is just to take it to the end of the world. Making a remix and doing an original song is basically the same. You have to be totally creative, you have to, you have to think out of the box. With a remix, you can get maybe just the acapella, the vocals of the song, and then you start the beat from scratch. With an original song, you don't have anything, you just start from scratch as well. But We don't always get the acapellas. Yeah, we don't always get the acapellas, especially with Kamuya artists. Some of them are reluctant to give us the acapella, so we are forced to use other methods, like um, taking part of their song with their own instruments and then adding ours. So well, it's, it's really difficult, it's really difficult when you don't have the vocals, but when you have the vocals, all you have to do is get creative with it, change the chord progression, make your own chord progression, change the tempo, it's just about being creative and so when people hear it, they'll, 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 they'll realize the work that you put in. And we also do a lot of original songs, we have some original songs with a few camera artists like Mr. Leo to release them. The matchup we did is a uh, matched up um, obsession by Apple Warriors with uh, Papi by, by Pascal, the Camino rapper, and Papi Papi, Papi Chulo. I don't know why the song, Papi Chulo. So we mashed three of them up to make that sound, and it sounds like a song on its own. I'm particularly in love with this mashup. Let me show you how it's done. The idea started when we got the uh, uh, Papi Chulo acapella. Um, um, normally it's, it's, it's Slower and the original acapella is slower and it's why to turn it up a notch because um wanted it to be at uh, 125 bpm so to match the the genre of music that we wanted to we wanted to match it up with so after we got the those vocals we, we, we searched the perfect song to match it with which was uh obsession by Afro Warriors.
after we got this, she came up with the idea that we should mash it up. Another song that has the word happy all over it. And since uh, we're all about promoting Cameroon artists, so we decided to choose Pascal's Papi Papi. Um, we spoke to him, gave us a vocal. So it actually took us a lot of time to match it up to this particular tempo. Once we had that figured out, we added it to the beat at a particular point. And it sounded great. I pop it back by the ting I make it ting a ling a ling Whoa, don't let's up where they pick it up LX, ah, movie day LX quick where they pick it sweet Now I got a feel like a movie day Particularly love this movie, this passion because um, they ask coming up with us When you're playing at parties where people don't understand the genre of music Using uh, elements from songs that they know You really get them um, going <laughs> Mommy beside me, and my little mommy call me papi. You know I know my for I me. I want in a papi. Oh papi papi, papi papi, baba baba, boo boo baby baby. Talk to papi, mommy talk to papi. Close your eyes and go to Abu Dhabi. Go up I never sat that. No passport or visa. They not know that bitch here. My hand brushing now. Mona Lisa, carry you take you from my village. Show you from my campus. 